Michaela Pivik, and Sydney Weiss. Coach? All right, thank you. Uh, well, first off, it was, uh, it's always a privilege to play in front of sea, uh, a sea of orange, and that's what we were able to do again today. And so uh, early start today in Beaver Nation didn't disappoint. They never do. And so how encouraging that is for our team to run out and hear that ovation and have them behind us the whole time. So we're very grateful for that. Uh, today I was just really proud of our team to play against uh, for the third time and, and the second time in just a few days it feels uh, against such a talented Cal team and Christina Nigwe coming off of a great win yesterday with momentum um, and we faced adversity all day. Uh, she's so difficult to guard, and then they hit threes in that second quarter. But I love the resilience that this team played with. I thought they started the game in a, an incredible way with Sid starting it off scoring for us. And then every time they made a run at us, we made the plays to keep them at bay. And so it was a great team win today. Uh, Mick and Sid were awesome, and our defense was phenomenal. So to hold them to 49 points um, and you know hold Christine to 26 on 24 shots, though, uh, and only keep her to six free throw attempts. You know, that's a, that was the plan, was to make her work for everything, and we did. And so really proud of the effort and uh, really happy with the win. Thank you, Coach. And we've got mics on both sides. Gina Mizell from the Oregonian. Sid, um, can you just speak to what it, how tough it is to play a team two times in less than a week and then maybe just what the difference was down the stretch you feel like every time they kind of tried to make a push there? Yeah, I think um, – one thing that is tough for postseason, especially Pac-12 tournament, everyone is on level playing field. It's, you forget about um, the conference play and the wins and losses, and everyone's out um, to win and to survive. And so uh, it was a big day for Cal because I know that they have postseason hopes, and so they were coming out to try and get a win, um, which is important for them. And um, they, I mean, they're so long. I know there were a few times in the fourth quarter I must have forgot how lengthy they were because they got a lot of tips, and uh, we turned it over um, a little too much there. But um, they're very talented, and so uh, it's definitely tough to play a team, I think, in a four-day span, four- or five-day span, um, because you know each other so well. And then especially at the end of conference play, too, you, you know each other. And so you just have to make plays. And so I think um, Colby had an amazing pass to <laughs> Marie to get that and one layup. That was – I love – I want to see a replay of that. And so I think people just stepped up the way that we needed to and at the perfect times um, and made the plays necessary in order to win. Michaela, what was it like to play your first college game in your hometown, basically? It was great to be back home. Uh, I knew some of my friends and family came, and it was good to see even Beaver Nation. The four or five hour drive, um, they didn't worry about that. They just came up, and we saw, I don't know, like 250, 300 people in the crowd um, cheering us on, so it was cool to be back. Were you just feeling today offensively, or what? Uh, my teammates set me up in positions to be successful. I know Sid uh, made a few great passes to me, and I'm glad they went down. Thanks, Mick. <laughs> great shots. <laughs> Back row. Steve Grass, Corvallis, is that time. Scott, uh, Michaela had a huge game, but your freshman really played well. Maddie can't to come in today. Just talk about how big Mick was and then just that freshman group. I think three of them were on the floor at the end of the first quarter because of foul trouble and stuff, and they really gave you guys a lift. Yeah, another huge lift from them. You know, Mick and Kat have produced all year long. It, we, I love it when Mick's as aggressive as she was today. She makes so many things happen, attacking the basket, spacing the floor. We, I thought we did a really nice job moving against their zone and finding her in the corner, knocking those shots down. Uh, Kat stretches the floor whether she's got the ball or <laughs> she didn't even have to make a shot to stretch the floor because of who she is. Uh, I thought they played great defense as well. And then Maddie, you know, had, gets minutes um, when we need her, uh, to be honest. And when Marie got those two quick fouls, we were already out of our, our rotation, you know, two minutes into the game. And so Bree did a great job staying out there. Colby had to play long minutes, and they can't stay out there the whole time. And so Maddie just once again comes in and plays absolutely huge. Uh, she hadn't played for, I think, a couple weeks, to be honest. And then the other day, hits a big shot against Cal um, on, on senior day. And then today, hits another huge shot at the end of the first quarter. And so um, just really impressed by all of their contributions. They do a phenomenal job. And we see Janessa every day. You know, there's four of them that are just constantly improving. And it's so encouraging to the rest of our team to see their growth. And so they're leading from that freshman position. And, uh, you know, they were, they were pivotal, and they will continue to be as we go forward. Front row. 
Scott, your rotation also was a little bit different today because Katie couldn't play. Just how did that impact just your substitution patterns and then how optimistic are you that maybe she'll be able to, to go at some point this weekend? Yeah, I'm hoping. I mean, we would love to have her back tomorrow. And um, you, you saw Gabby at the one a little bit. Uh, you saw Mick playing a little bit longer minutes. Uh, you saw Sid playing longer minutes. Um, well, I guess. <laughs> it's kind of typical, I guess. Um, but yeah, anytime, just one more example of this team rising when, you know, some, we're down a player. And that's been who they are over the years and not just now. And so when somebody goes down, somebody else steps up, whether it's foul trouble or whatever it may be, you know. And so this was just one more example of this team taking adversity and turning it into a positive and overcoming it. Taylor in the back, please. Uh, Jonathan Style with KEZI9 and Eugene. Scott, there were multiple times throughout the game where it looked like Cal was going to make a bit of a run and get back into it, and they did. Um, they got within four at one point. But, you know, most coaches opt to take timeouts in that point, and it seemed like you just kind of let your team play. Is that more of a comfort thing for you, knowing that they've been through a lot of the season and that they can just – they'll ride it out and you don't really need to kind of slow it down for them? It's, it's a feel. A complete feel. Uh, there's times where, you know, as soon as that momentum has changed, we, we, we need a timeout immediately. Uh, that happened uh, against Stanford last week, actually. They got momentum, immediate timeout. And you can just, who's on the floor, the vibe, the situation. So that's always feel for me. Um, I felt in this situation, let's play through it as long as we could. I did take two, my, two timeouts tonight, though, because of that. And so um, when you've got a veteran leaders on the floor, and typically we do with Sid and Gabby, Normally, you can weather it a bit, and this team's done a great job of that, you know. And I trust that their their ability to make it right again out of the chaos, you know. Let's get back to something normal. And so sometimes it's just telling them to slow down. Okay, it's time for a set. I thought we quick shot a couple times, uh, shot the ball way too early in the shot clock. A couple possessions in the third quarter that led to their momentum um, during that stretch. Uh, we got to wait away maybe from being who we are, took a couple bad shots. And so, hey, let's run a set. And when we did, we were successful tonight. So all feel. Mick, you've had a lot of success in the three games against Cal. Is there anything that, that they do that allows you to be open? Or, and how confident? You look like you're really confident well, throughout, but just especially shooting the, the three tonight. Was that true? Oh, uh, yeah, I think. I just try to come out and be aggressive with my drive. And then if they take that away, then um, the three's there, go for that. But I think um, just try to come out with that mindset each time. And luckily, it's been against Cal a few times. I don't know if there's a coincidence or not, but. OK, any further questions? All right, that'll do it. Go Beavs. Go Beavs. <laughs> Nothing from right here, huh? Yes. <laughs>